Hey guys, Phil and Florence. How many times have you heard me say, I'm going to break out my offset. I'm going to break out my offset. <laughs> or guess what? Today, I'm going to break out my offset. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You see that shiny pipe on it? I had it painted previously, but I said, why cover up that pretty stainless steel six inch pipe when I can show it off? I'm going with my Texas original. This is a good cooker. It's, it's a quality cooker, quarter inch steel pipe, uh, heavy. It's not as popular maybe as some of the other top names, but it's a real good cooker. The only thing that I wanted to do different, I made that mod, changing out that three inch pipe to a six inch pipe so I could get a little more air movement and bring more air in to the pit and move more smoke out. But uh, you're gonna see it today. We're gonna do some uh, ribs and chicken. So stay tuned and we'll be right back and get ready for this cook. Till and blonde. Right, guys, we're gonna start out with some charcoal. This is a base, and then it's wood fire poker and kind of spread that around a little bit. I'm gonna be using uh, apple wood today. I'm gonna start out with apple wood. I've got some other wood. I've got some post oak. I've got some pecan. So just using what I got, using up some of this wood. I'm going to start out with three pieces and let that get going and get a good base so it's already catching fire. It doesn't take long. The doors open for a few minutes and let it get caught good and when it gets caught real good we'll, we'll close the top and then uh, over a period of time close that back door and maybe leave that vent open until okay, here's our meat. We're going to do actually two chickens. I'm gonna spatch tops two chickens and uh, we've got some baby backs from Sam's I'll be working on. I'm gonna get those prepped and ready to go and I'll be back. Guys, just to catch you up, I've already unpackaged these ribs. I've washed them, patted them dry, and I've gone on with mustard as a binder on the rib side. And now I'm getting ready to go on with some new rub I'm trying from Joe over at Joe's Barbecue House. Here's his uh, SPG. That's packaged real nice, Joe. And then I'm gonna go on with some barbecue hot rub. All right, here's some SPG. It's nice uh, granulated uh, large grain salt, pepper, garlic. It's going on good, Joe. I like the way this this goes on. Pat that in a little bit and go on with some of this hot rub. Alright, I'm going to turn these over and do the other side and I'll meet you outside at the smoke. Alright guys, my pit's ready. It's up to three, about 325. It's going to cool down, but uh, this fire, let me show it to you. This fire, can you see that? It's going good. I got a good bed of coals. I'm going to close that vent about three quarters. I got good draw on this thing, so let's get these ribs on. I got ribs and chicken today, but I'm going to put the ribs on first and come back later on. I've cleaned this pit, and I'm just going to kind of wipe over the grate. Okay, I'm gonna move this down. I think it's a little hotter on that end. Fire's down there, but it comes underneath that plate of steel down there. And it comes out hot right here, so that, that's why it's hotter. 
in spite of the fire being firebox dead bed down here. I got a probe for the top rack and a pit probe for the bottom rack. And when I get my chicken on in a couple hours, I'll use this probe. All right, we'll close that down and let her start cooking. I'm going with the uh, the Maverick XR50. Got my timer here, my time stack by Thermoworks. You've seen me use that before. I'm gonna start there. When I put the chicken on, I'll use the next timer. It's good to have. Keep up with your time. We're gonna cook these on the warm side, and that's all right. Woo! Better spray, spray these things a little bit. It's looking pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll put some chicken on that top rack in a little bit. I'll be back. Two hours. So, getting ready to put this chicken on. I decided to only go with uh, one chicken, one spatchcock chicken. So, that's what we got. I might just move this one down on this end. It's kind of hot down there on that end. I think I'm going to put the chicken down on this hot end. Let's do that. Chicken down on the hotter end where the heat comes under that heat plate. When it comes out right here, it's hotter, so chicken can stand higher temperature. I'm going to let this Time to get these ribs and wrap them. What I've got mixed up is some honey, mango sauce, peach preserves, and some Texas peach. Just some of my conglomerated stuff. It's sweet, just something sweet and a little spice. It's all good. No right, no wrong, just do it. All right, that's where they'll stay for the rest of this cook. All right, I might have to bump this fire a little bit. Get that chicken up to 300, 325. All right, we'll be back in a bit. are three hours and 42 minutes into the rib cook and an hour and 33 minutes into the wrap and an hour and four minutes into the chicken cook. Okay, we were going to take the ribs up, unwrap them, and sauce them. We're going to put some cherry habanero homemade sauce some that I've put together the next thing is we're going to spritz the chicken with some apple cider vinegar so that's as AB would say with that being said let's get it on <laughs> and set this rack of ribs down in it I might just try to do this all right here First, before I forget it, let's just, uh, chicken's looking good. And that's an hour and a half chicken. This is apple cider vinegar. This is some nice thick cherry habanero that I made right here in the Piff factory. <laughs> you like that word? I just made it up. In the Piff now. factory. I'm getting ready to start saucing the chicken and I'm using a combination of stuff and I'll show you my friend uh, my two friends uh, Jay Dallum he sent me here a while back some old southern barbecue southern sun barbecue sauce he wanted me to try that since I'm in Carolina and I like the Carolina style and, and I tasted it it tasted good and my other buddy Biggs Mr. Biggie Smalls. When he came, he left me, brought me several things, and one of them was this, Shivada's Barbecue Marinade. And I mixed, I mixed some of this, Shivada's and some of this Southern Sun barbecue sauce together. You know, I'm a vinegar-based barbecue sauce type guy. So that's what I got here. And don't tell nobody, but I even threw in a little bit of Piff's Carolina sauce in it. I'm like my daddy, I can't help it. 
He liked combos. I'm doing the combo sauce. So anyway, let's go in and get this chicken. Now let me swing you around here so you can see what I'm doing. Daddy would be proud of me doing this combo. Let me straighten the camera up. Alright. That chicken's been on for an hour and 45 minutes. And it's up to 148. Alright. All we got is chicken left. I'm gonna, I turned them over. I took the top rack out. Now I got good access. Temperature in the pit right now is 380, 379. Okay. More salt, please. Okay. You just have to keep, when you're doing the uh, pit cook work, you just have to keep, you know, changing up as you need to. You know what I mean? Whatever it calls for. So just keep that in mind if you're getting into cooking. All right, let's close this down and let that finish cooking out. Mm. Okay, guys, we've got uh, two racks of ribs done and a chicken done. Let's take out this, this long rack here. You like how I did that? Mm, yeah. <laughs> There we go, I found one that's cooperating. I found two. Yeah, that's a pretty rib right there. That one cooperating. All right, let's see what this rib's all about. Mmm. That's a good smoked rib off of the... You thought I was gonna say Lone Star Grill, didn't you? <laughs> that's a good smoked rib off the Texas Original. That pit's out of Houston. Mmm. Look at that. Right off the bone. Mm -hmm. I wish you had some of this done. Talking to my son over there and Jeff. <laughs> okay. It was last to come off. I'll just pick it up and bring it over here to the surgeon's table. You know how that is. There's nothing much holding this together. Look at there. Mm. Looks yummy. Pretty. Let's see what kind of white meat we got going on. It's moving around on me. There we go. That's very tender, very moist. That's great smoked chicken, folks. Can't argue with that. Offset Pit did a great job on the ribs and the chicken. Mmm. Yeah. All right, uh, Jeff, what did you make for us tonight? Oh, I made a to tomato bake, uh, the zucchini tomato bake, and some corn on the cob. Got some bread here, ciabatta bread. We've had that zucchini tomato potato bake before. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. It's already it's already posted on Janet Side's playlist, mm -hmm. so go there if you want that recipe. Yep, it's got zucchini, Roma tomatoes, and red potatoes with mm -hmm. mozzarella cheese on it. And onions cooked on the bottom is so good. Hope you enjoyed watching me cook on the offset, the Texas Original Pit. It's a good pit. Anybody out there wants that pit, just give me a call. I'm in the market for change up to do some different things. So I will let that one go. And it is a good offset. All right. Well, thanks for coming along with us, folks. And until next time, this is Phil and Florence. And Janet and Florence. Bye-bye. Bye. We'll see you. This probe here could actually come out. I just happened to grab the right one. How about... Ow! Dang hot. <laughs> you won't hold on to that long.